In this video, we are going to discuss about the characteristic of an integral domain and we are going to prove in this theorem that the characteristic of an integral domain must be either zero or it must be a prime number. So what we will do to write the proof, I will say that suppose the characteristic is not equal to zero. Suppose the characteristic of the integral domain D is not equal to zero. Then in this, in this case, I have to prove that the characteristic of the particular integral domain given to us must be what must be a must be a prime number. So if I want to prove that the characteristic of an integral domain is now a prime number, I will go uh, by proof of contradiction, prove by contradiction. So I will say that let the characteristic of this integral domain be equal to a composite number and that composite number is m into n. So here m is greater than one and n is also greater than one because it's a proper composite number. It's not a prime number. Now we note that uh, if you write this uh, multiplication m into 1 into n into 1, then uh, this we can uh, write it as what? We will write it as 1 plus 1 plus uh, 1 uh, m times. OK, and uh, then multiply it by now. What is n times 1 means it is 1 plus 1 plus 1. How many times 1 plus 1 plus 1 n times and uh, Therefore, when I multiply all these ones with these ones, we are finally going to get 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. How many times? We are going to get total 1 plus 1s. M n times. So I'm going to get m into n times. m n times, right? And this is nothing but uh, m n multiplied by m n, into m n times 1. And we know that uh, the characteristic of the integral domain is how much? The characteristic of integral domain is m n. What is the meaning of characteristic of integral domain is mn means mn if you add one uh, if you add if i add one mn times the answer will be equal to how much the answer will be equal to zero so this will give us zero now we have finally concluded that m into one multiplied by n into one is equal to how much is equal to zero in the integral domain d so d is an integral domain now we know that if you have an integral domain and if the product of two elements is equal to zero then either m into 1 is equal to 0 or uh, n into 1 is equal to 0. This is the definition of an integral domain. But uh, if you see the, the comparison between m and mn, clearly m must be strictly less than mn and also n is also less than mn because the factor is always less than the product of two numbers because both the two numbers are greater than 1. None of them is 1 over here. Neither m is 1 or n is 1. So m must be less than mn and n also must be less than mn. So I get m into 1 is equal to 0 or n equal to 1, n into 1 is also equal to 0. And then this in this may indicate us that the characteristic of the integral domain can be m, right? Because m into 1 is 0. Or this may also give us one of the implication that characteristic of d may be n. But uh, this is a contradiction. But this is a contradiction. Why this is a contradiction? This is contradiction because the characteristic uh, of the given integral domain is how much? The characteristic of integral domain is mn to the fact that to the fact that characteristic of d is equal to mn. Therefore, we derive a contradiction and therefore now we can say that this assumption that the characteristic of uh, d is equal to mn is actually wrong and because if I take that assumption I'm getting a contradiction and therefore what must be the characteristic of that integral domain we have only one choice that the characteristic of that integral domain has to be equal to p and therefore the characteristic of that integral domain d is equal to p so we have proved that either the characteristic is zero or the characteristic is prime so how did we do that we started with suppose the characteristic is not equal to zero and then we are proving that now we have only one choice left with us that the characteristic has to be equal to p. So this proves this result.